going on guys welcome back to the channel um, as you can see today's slightly different what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do a quick run through of the games the results and the points round by round um starting off with burnley v everton now this game finished 1-1 robbie brady scored after in the third minute to make it 1-0 to burnley and then in stoppage time of half time of the first half dominic calvert lewin who else scored um after that, nothing really happened. Played out the draw, um, which probably didn't help neither team in regards to their ambitions. Um, but that's the thing with Burnley. If they go 1-0 ahead, then you know they're going to make a sort of a very tight game. So yeah, that game finished 1-1. Uh, and then we went straight into the points. So yeah, Davy scored four points. I scored 2.5 points. Regan scored two points. And Akeem scored one point. And then we moved on to the second game, which was Man City v Fulham. Now, Man City started off the game really well. They went ahead after five minutes, Raheem Sterling finding his form and back amongst the goals. 26 minute, Kevin De Bruyne scored a penalty and you thought the floodgates would open, but credit to Fulham. Um, they kept it at 2 0 and they done well after that when considering the way the first sort of half hour went, you thought they're going to get hammered here and they didn't. So credit to Fulham. 2-0 for them, off to get, uh, the way the game started is not a bad result because obviously they're not looking to pick up points away to City, it's more about the teams that's around them. So, 2-0 um, City, and then we go to the points. Davies scored 5.5 points, Akeem and Regan both scored 3 points, and I scored 2 points. So that left the table looking something like this, going into the third game. Right, the third game was... West Ham against Manchester United. Uh, first half, we demolished them and we just couldn't get the second goal. If we'd have scored the second goal, it would have been a different game. Thomas Suchek scored in the 38th minute. Um, we had so many chances and Man United was really on the ropes. They came out second half and the first 10 minutes, they didn't really do nothing. Then they had a crazy 15 minute spell where they scored three goals. Um, their first goal clearly went out for throwing. Didn't get that, but then Pogba scores a great goal. So, West Ham's been in good form. Um, we've been a bit lucky along the way, so I don't think this would dishearten the squad and we go into the next game against Leeds. But, yeah, 3-1 um, Man United and we go on to the next game. Um, Points-wise, Regan and Akeem scored three points, Davies scored two points and I scored one point, which left the table with three games played looking something like this. Game four was Chelsea v Leeds. Um, score finished 3-1. Quite a good game, 1-1 at half time. Um, Chelsea is finding some form now and yeah, they're, they're looking like strong title contenders. So yeah, 3-1. Um, in regards to the points, I scored 5.5 points. Regan scored four points. Davies scored 3.5 points and Akeem scored one point. All right, my mistake guys. Um, in the Leeds, no, Chelsea v Leeds game, Davey actually got a correct score. At the time, I it slipped by me somehow. Davey uh, let me know maybe the next day. So I had to add the points after that. So um, you're going to see the league table with me adding these extra five points. So for the Chelsea v Leeds, Davey scored five more points than what I've said just now or whenever I say it in the video. Okay, my apologies. Game five was West Brom v Crystal Palace. Um, West Brom clearly are struggling for points. They've come up and they're not doing too well. Now, the score was West Brom one, Crystal Palace five, which is crazy. Um, it was one all and then Mateus Pereira got sent off, which ultimately cost them the game because at one one at home, especially as they went one nil down, you think, you know what? We might be able to get a, a win here, but Clearly, the red card made a big difference. So, credit to Palace, five goals away from home. Um, so, yeah, West Brom's in, in big trouble. Points-wise, for this game, Akeem scored three points, Regan scored three points, I scored one point, and Davies scored half a point. So, the table, after five games, looked just like this. Game six was Sheffield United v Leicester, which finished Sheffield United 1, Leicester 2. Jamie Vardy scored right at the death to... Sheffield United, they've got one point this season. If you compare that to last season, they was flying high like in the European spaces, places. So 
yeah, to now after I think eleven games have one point, they're in big, big trouble. Um, they didn't look too bad, but goals sort of win you games, and and they don't look like they're going to score a lot of goals. So they're in big trouble. And Leicester's back on track, and that man Jamie Vardy once again uh, scoring a winner. So in regards to the points, because me and Davy got a correct score. I scored nine and a half points and Davy scored nine points. Akeem scored five points and Regan scored four points. So it was a good point tally for everyone, especially me and Davy, obviously. Um, so after that game and after that correct result, this is what the table looked like. The seventh game was the North London derby. Um, finished 2 0 to Spurs. Spurs put them back on top of the table. Um, Young Min Son won the goal, assist from Kane. Kane scores, good goal, assist from Son. Um, Arsenal had a lot of possession and didn't really do much with it. So, and then Tottenham was almost like Mourinho esque, where once they had that two goal lead, there was no coming back. So, so Tottenham is looking steady, they're doing what they've got to do to win points, and maybe Mourinho is going to win back that reputation of the special one. Um, points wise, Davy scored six points. Me, Akeem, and Regan all scored 4.5 points. So, um, after that North London derby, this is how the table was looking. The eighth game was Liverpool at home to Wolves. Now, we know Liverpool's got quite a few injuries, um, but that didn't matter one dot. They won the game 4-0, um, a convincing victory. Could have been more. So, I think, once again with Liverpool, they're finding... A way to win without you know their full complement. 4 0 away, uh, sorry, 4 0 result against Wolves is not an easy feat. I know West Ham done it, but you know, we're a big team as well. But yeah, Liverpool are looking good again. Um, they've had a you know, the, the Aston Villa game, aside from that, they're picking up points, they're picking up wins, and they are looking like strong title contenders. Um, points wise, this is how scoring went. Davy scored 4.5 points, I scored 3 points, Regan scored 2 points, and Akeem scored 1 point, which left the table looking like this, with one game to go. Um, the final game of the round, because it was a 9-game round, was Brighton at home to Southampton. The game finished Brighton 1, Southampton 2. There were two penalties, one for each team, both converted. Um, it was another good team. Both of these teams played good football, so it was a good, entertaining game. Um... If I remember correctly, it was a controversial penalty for Southampton that won it. Um, but yeah, Southampton, once again, they've got 20 points now. So they're having a good season. Brighton is, is where probably they expected to be. They're not really in trouble, but they're not pushing for Europe. So yeah, um, that was the final game. And this was the points tally for that game. Keane scored three points. Me and Davey scored two points and Regan scored one point, which left the final table looking like this. So, as you can see, Davey was the clear winner with 41 points. Now, the record points tally was 36.5, also set by Davey, and that was in a 10-game round. He got two correct uh, scores in this round, which obviously helped him, but 41 points from nine games is, 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 is a big achievement and a big score, and it's going to be hard to beat that so i have to say well done davy um davy's random predictions was kind of a bit not risky but there was more out there and because of that he was he was getting points uh the two correct scores obviously so yeah that's 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 a big points tally 41 points so well done davy i came second as you know with 31 points which for nine games 31 points is, is decent um couldn't catch Davy, obviously, so I've got to be happy with second place and 31 points. Now, obviously, Regan was in third with, let me check my phone, 26.5 points. So, once again, for a nine-game round, that's not a bad points tally. So, well done, Regan. And I know that Regan was the winner last week, so he definitely would not want to come bottom the week after, which he didn't do. And, unfortunately, last place with 24.5 points is Akeem. So, Akeem is back at the bottom of the pile. So, um, Davy now has three wins, Regan has three wins, and me and Akeem have two wins. Um, fully deserved, 
by Davey. This week is a 10 game round, so I'm hoping that I can get one or two correct scores and somehow get back that trophy. But yeah, um, thanks for watching guys. Um, next week, I think we will be back to filming. So we look forward to you tuning in. Um, and as always, just to sign out, anything you do in life, if at first you don't succeed, do better next time.